Hello everyone. Greetings to you all in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I believe you're doing good. Welcome to another episode of Prophetic Time. I believe this videos are blessing you and helping you to come more closer to God. And those who are watching me for the first time, this is Evans Francis from Nagpur, India. I'm an evangelist into full-time ministry from last 18 years. And I believe in today's message, God is going to speak to you. He's going to empower you. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, do subscribe with the bell icon. So whenever I come live, I share a video or a post, a dream from the Lord, a vision from the Lord, a message from the Lord, you will be notified. And you can also join our WhatsApp channel. And I think you can see the QR, score, uh, QR, uh, QR code on your screen. And uh, do join and be a blessing. You will get uh, all the posts regarding the ministries, daily devotionals, and many biblical things that will help you to go grow more uh, in the Lord and uh, without wasting a lot of time let us pray and dive into the word of god father god we come to thy presence in this wonderful time master lord we come to your throne of grace lord i give today's word into thy hand your children into thy hand myself into thy hands master i cancel all the disturbances master and lord speak to your children master lord every trials they are going through every situation they are going through help them to prepare to Lord reach their destination to claim that promise that you have given them Abba you're doing it for that I thank you in Jesus precious name we pray Amen 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 I believe beloved that today's message is the right message for your for the right people at the right time and I believe that you know uh, God is going to speak to you and beloved when we live in this world it is very important like if we are not living a purpose driven life and it's it's not empowering you and you know if uh, the things that you are doing if it is not profitable to you then remember that it is very important that we don't waste our time because beloved we have to prepare ourselves in a way that we can reach to our destiny and i believe in this year in the remaining time of 2024 you are going to witness great things great things miraculous things taking place in your life in your family in your ministry and it is very important to align yourself with the word according to the word in the lord so you can see things taking place in your life and as we know that every farmer when he plants a seed you know he doesn't expect uh, to reap the same amount of seed but whatever that goes in the ground is gonna come out bigger than what it has went in so if it's a good soil it will be a good harvest and that's why beloved i want to tell you through this word today's word that you are a good soil you are a good soil and the word that will be sown into your life today you know it will flourish that's why you know god used the good ground to create adam you know why from the dust of this earth because he was using the good soil and because he was using the good soil he said it is good i want to tell you something beloved that do not allow situations people relatives anybody to tell you you're not good enough but god in god's sight you are fearfully and wonderfully made so uh, when we read joshua chapter nep chapter 1 verses 9 to 17 when we read it says this is my command be strong and courageous don't be of do not be afraid or discouraged for the lord your god is with you wherever you go joshua then commanded the officers of israel go through the camp and tell the people to get their provision ready in three day days you will come you will cross the jordan river and take possession of the land the lord your god is giving you then joshua called together the tribe of reuben Gad and half tribe of Manasseh, he told them, Remember what Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you. The Lord your God is giving you a place of rest. He has given you this land. Your wives, children, and livestock may remain here in the land Moses assigned to you on the on the east side of the Jordan River. But your strong warriors, fully armed, must lead the other tribes across the jordan to help them conquer their territory stay with them until the lord gives them the rest as he has given you rest and until they too possess the land the lord your god is giving them only then may you return and settle here on the east side of the jordan river in the land that moses the servant of the lord assigned to you 
they answered joshua we will do whatever you command us and we will go wherever you send us we will obey you just as we obeyed moses and may the lord your god be with you as he was with moses beloved without god's leadership we are blind without his direction we are incompetent you know without his instruction we are insufficient and without his anointing we are incapable so it is very important to have god in our lives beloved when we see the book of joshua you know joshua is not a book for the for those who are faint of heart you know joshua is a book that is designed for people who have survived the desert and you know who have made through the dry places and still have enough strength to embark on and what it's about to happen in their life beloved joshua the book of joshua is for those the remnant of people that the desert tried to take out and it didn't work out uh, you know joshua is a book that it is the beginning of a new beginning it's a fresh start you know here we can see that recycling take place of the covenant people and it is a time of transition it is it is in a place of uh, it is a place of discomfort disruption and you know it is a place where old things are passed away and you know there we can see the funeral of moses and it's we can see the closing of one door and opening of the next uh, beloved here we can see that uh, in the book of joshua we can see that transformation taking place that how people have been trained 40 years in the wilderness and uh, from where through wilderness how they enter into the promised land uh, and you know in this 40 years when moses was alive they have developed some techniques to survive to sustain in the dry places in the drought places uh, but when the new leader emerged when joshua came new skills are needed to so that they can think differently and uh, you know they can be different and uh, they can remove the old thinking because god is about to do something new in their life and whenever when they are going to the new place with if you go to a new place with old mindset you know the wine skin will burst because it's not flexible to deal with the expansion i strongly believe in my life that today's word some god is about to tell you that something huge is going to take place something big is going to take place so it is very very important that you be flexible if you are not flexible you know you will burst and you will destroy yourself so when we read joshua chapter 1 verses 1 to 5 and there we can see that lord is giving charge to joshua he said after the death of moses the lord servant the lord spoke to joshua son of nun moses's assistant he said moses my servant is dead therefore the time has come for you to lead this people the israelites across the jordan river into the land i am giving them i promise you what i promised moses wherever you set foot you will be on the land i have given you from the negev wilderness in the south to the lebanon mountains in the north from the euphrates river in the east to the mediterranean sea in the west including all the land of the hittites no one will be able to stand against you as long as you live for i will be with you as i was with moses i will not fail you or abandon you this is the word for many of you who are watching me he is not going to leave you he is not going to fail you he is not going to abandon you all you have to do is walk according to his precepts uh, you know when we read joshua chapter 1 verse uh, 9 it says this is my command be strong and be courageous do not be afraid or or discouraged for the lord your god is with you wherever you go wherever you go beloved through today's word god is telling you wherever you go he will be there he is going to be there with you here we can see that god is commanding his general joshua teaching him how to lead as though he has never led before beloved here we can see that joshua till this time you know he was uh, leading the leading the group but under a leader that was moses and he was never he never led where he is fully in charge so even though he has some experience you know but still he is not ready for god 
to do take things a hundred percent uh, but now god is uh, teaching him telling him showing him how he should prepare you know it is very important beloved as god was telling joshua be strong and you know, it is very important that you know you have to be strong for what god is going to do for the rest of this year and in the coming time and we read joshua chapter 1 verse 10 it says joshua charge to the israelites there we can see and he says that joshua then commanded the officers of israel here we can see that joshua is commanding the people and who is fully in charge today we live in a time where people are commanding people who have never been commanded uh, we have people leading people who are never been led uh, but here joshua one thing that we can see that joshua didn't commanded the officers until god told him to do it uh, so it is very important beloved to wait for god's time do not take matters in your own hand trust in the lord in the right time he will give you the wisdom and knowledge strength and courage and understanding to lead in your life so when we read verse 11 joshua chapter 1 it says go through the camp and tell the people to get their provisions ready in three days you will cross the jordan river and take possession of the land the lord your god is giving you here we can see it is it's it, when we read it says you know in other words prepare your food you know which is a very important for your sustenance uh, which is important for your nece necessities and it is important for your sustainability you know it is very important that god has given that land to you but you have to possess it uh, you know when we read verse 12 to 14 it says then joshua called together the tribe of reuben god and the half tribe of manasseh he told them remember what moses the servant of the lord commanded you the lord your god is giving you a place of rest he has given you this land your wives children and livestock may remain here in the land moses assigned to you on the east side of the jordan river but your strong warriors fully armed must lead the other tribes along across the jordan to help them conquer their territory stay with them beloved what we can learn here is that you cannot sit comfortable in what has already been allocated to you while your brothers remain in lack uh, my question to you is beloved who are you helping i know you have been blessed i know you are knowledgeable i know you have degrees i know you have opportunities i know you have influence i know you have nice cars i know you have branded bags i know you're wearing branded clothes uh, but my question to you is who are you helping with uh, when the when we read verse 15 it says stay with them until the lord gives them rest uh, as he has given you rest and until they to possess the land the lord your god is giving them only then may you return and settle here on the east side of the jordan river in the land that moses the servant of the lord assigned to you be beloved you might be parting at the wrong time you can't celebrate while your brothers suffer it is very very important one thing in my life that you know i focus on a lot a lot is uh, to stand with the body of christ galatians 6 9 and 10 stand with the body of christ you know you cannot be celebrating when your other brother is sick other brother is other family in the lord is going through the hard time and you are enjoying and spending and spending when other persons other people are you know uh, expecting some help from you it is very very important beloved that when god gives you something you know there is a way to use it also when we read uh, uh, verse 16 it says they answered joshua we will do whatever you command us and we will go wherever you send us remember beloved we will they indirectly they are saying that we will not sit down on the land that we have already possessed uh, we will not be building our houses and sit up under the shade tree and we will have just drinks and we will enjoy our life uh, but we will when our brothers are uh, up front fighting for their family you know we will not do that but what we will do wherever what we will do whatever you command us and we will go wherever you send us beloved that's the line that we need to speak in our life that whatever the lord will tell us uh, command us we will do and wherever he asks us we will go remember it is very important uh, that god is going to set some doors uh, and they will be open for you 
but remember it is very important when god opens a door for you will you allow somebody else also to enter through it uh, what the thing is beloved here we can see that the people of israelites uh, one part of the israelites some people some tribes they're standing with other tribes that is very very important uh, beloved uh, when when we see when somebody cooks like i love cooking and most of the time when i'm frustrated i am i feel some anxiety and i i stressed out sometimes when i'm sad you know i love to cook because you know it uh, relieves me but you know you know that if you prepare food in the old fashion it will take hours and hours and if you want to make it fast you you get ready made food that all you have to do is just put it in the oven and heat heat it and you know just you can have it uh, but i tell you something that if you if you spend more time in cooking you know the taste will be that much better and it is very important beloved to prepare that's why i said this is preparation either you can prepare your lunch or dinner for in 15 minutes or if you want if your guests are coming you know you will be spending hours and hours behind that uh, so there is a difference it's all about preparation how you prepare the food will taste uh, like that uh, when we see the people of israelites in egypt you know they had eaten from the hands of pharaoh for 400 years they are eaten from the hands of the of a slave master and you know once they were liberated from the slave master and they were freed from the whip but uh, they were also had void of the food uh, you know they missed the cucumber the melons the leeks the onions and the garlic of egypt uh, one thing that is very fascinating is they didn't miss the whip but they missed the food uh, so we see later that god catered for them in the wilderness and manna fell for them every morning not wheat that they beat but manna prepared for them and all they had to do was reach out and get it it was easy it was like uh, every day like the like like a, how a clock works like early morning every day the manna will appear and each man according to his uh, house uh, he, they just have to get, gather and we can see that god uh, does not give equally but god gives the uh, response to the appetite uh, where there is little appetite there will be small loaves where there were huge appetite there were large loaves uh, here we can see that uh, uh, that god knows how to you know give to his children so it is very important that we don't compare yourself with one another because god only supplies according to your appetite so if you don't want much he won't drop much but if you got a great need and a great void he will drop a according to your need so it is very important don't look at your neighbor's stand and worry about what god has given them because they may have the capacity to absorb more provision than you do and god doesn't want uh, his provision to be wasted uh, so here we can see that god gives the seeds to the sower and bread to the eaters uh, and remember beloved god does not give blessing to people that will not consume it uh, whereas you want blessing just to, so that you can brag about it that you got them you will not be having any blessings of god because god gives blessing to people who take action if you are not going to use it for the people for his people then why god will give it to you that's the question you need to ask yourself because he designed it uh, in a way that uh, if you if he designed the manna in a way that if you don't use it in a certain times the worms uh, would eat it up because uh, you were forbidden from holding yesterday's bread for today's battle and remember it is very very important uh, it is very very important to what God has given you, it is not only for you, it is for someone else also. So we have to be good stewards of what God has blessed us. Uh, and when we read verse 12, Joshua chapter 5 verse 12, it says, No manna appeared on the day they first ate from the crop of the land, and it was never seen again. So from that time on, the Israelites ate from the crops of Canaan. Here we can see, beloved, that what... Uh, do you do the question arises what do you do when you use the system that god abruptly halted uh, in other words uh, 
what uh, was used to work doesn't work anymore uh, and here we can see that there was no warning there was no prophecy there was no preparation without any warning at all it just stopped uh, beloved some of us think that because we, we we might have lost the favor of god because what used to work isn't working anymore here we can see that that mana stopped uh, the mana ceased uh, moses is dead uh, and they are crying at the bottom of the mountain because everything that they have become accustomed to had been disrupted uh, i believe somebody is watching and i know that disruption is taking place in your life and things uh, uh, that you are ac accustomed to is not taking place uh, but i want to tell you something that you cannot move forward with the old playbook uh, now the rules are changing uh, and god is going to work in a different way if you want to take another step you got to take in faith because the manna has ceased uh, Moses is dead uh, but the movement needs to continue beloved it is very very important uh, that the work of God needs to move forward and Joshua tells the people is prepare your food uh, beloved uh, I want to tell you something in today's word God is telling some people that I won't make it happen for you anymore without you I will require your participation in your provision beloved till now you might have seen that God is giving you providing for you everything like the people of Israelites uh, but you know the next meal that is going to require your involvement uh, because God wants to tell you through today's word that he's changing the playbook the way he worked for you in the past is not going to be the way that he's going to work in the rest of the year uh, what used to work will not work right now and I want to tell you something that that God has not brought you here and he will not take you there like you expect him to be remember you need to evolve yourself uh, to enter into the next dimension that God wants you to go because uh, the mana has ceased Moses is dead but movement continues uh, so remember that you cannot enter into that realm in the dimension without you being a product of faith because uh, faith will make you get ready for something that hadn't happened remember faith will make you borrow vessels when you are broke uh, faith will make you to take your lunch and give it uh, to jesus uh, and trusting that god jesus will turn it into a feast uh, faith will make you get ready for a child when the doctor is telling you that you can't have a baby faith will make you call those things that are not as though they are uh, you know faith will get into your attitude and in your disposition faith will make you a uh, build a room on the house for a prophet that hadn't come by yet uh, faith will make you to get ready for something that hasn't been there yet uh, faith will make you start laying out plans and diagrams and getting ready and setting up situation for some of you can't even pay for faith will make you move out on something that makes you look like a fool faith will make you build an ark and it hasn't been a drop of rain faith will make you ready for something that had even started to break loose in your life uh, beloved this message is not for normal people this message is for the radical people who are willing to build a boat in their backyard and they know that it hadn't rained for a long time your neighbors might be laughing at you but uh, remember that you are in a time of preparation and uh, how you prepare yourself with determine will you enter into the promised land uh, remember you cannot enter into the promised land with the mindset of your father and uh, parents uh, you need to change because manna has ceased you might have all your life may have eaten from from the provision that was god was giving you through your father but the things are changing the situation is changing the era has changing and god is going to use you in a way that you have never dreamt about uh, i know beloved 
that why mindset is important uh, i'll tell you because when we see the life of the prodigal son we see you know he leaves his house and he's in a situation where he's in the midst of swines uh, and you know he left his own father and brother and he's uh, he gradually his friends left him and you know he there is no connectivity there is nobody to be with him he is in a place of total isolation surrounded by pigs uh, he is out of money he is out of family he is out of friends he is out of identity he has no name in the text even he is a nameless person in a very bad situation and the only thing that changed uh, is that he you know he came to his senses uh, you would you need to see that no angels came there no visitation from from god happened no bible dropped on his head uh, you know the only thing changed is that the way he thought uh, you know when he was that when he came to his senses the pigs were still the pigs uh, the gentiles were still the gentiles the family were were still strange to him the friends had all left him the only thing changed is his mindset uh, and you know but we call him the prodigal son you know i know that uh, he had gone broke uh, i know that his family relationship has fallen apart uh, i know that he was alienated by his own culture he was down in a pig's place uh, and you know he was about to he eat like a homeless man and you know out of the food that uh, pigs eat uh, he was he 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 pigs were not uh, good uh, animals they were cursed animals and he was raised uh, not to eat uh, and he wouldn't even touch uh, just when he was about to do something crazy you know you know that he was about to eat uh, you know what happened is that he came to his senses you need to see that everything remained same to, uh, and but uh, where when he was having mud in his hair between his toes uh, and husk in his hairs and gnats fire flying around his head uh, you know what happened he changed his mind and he said i will rise up i will go to my father and i will apologize uh, the remember the only thing you have to do to get out of the situation you are in right now is to change your mindset you don't need her to come back to you you don't need him to come back to you you don't need them to pay your way you don't need anything else but you need to change your mindset uh, i want to tell you something that god is telling me to tell you that stop waiting on somebody to come and rescue you for your from your situation they are not coming you need to change your mindset and start uh, beating the wheat up until you see bread uh, there will be no more bread falling from sky from heaven you have to prepare yourself in the seasons for the promise that is about to take in your life you know god says it is yours but you got to take it uh, you know you got to move from preparation to possession you know it's not going to come up uh, on your front porch it's not going to ring the bell it's not going to uh, it's not going to respond to you the way it the way you expected it to respond uh, remember because things are changing you got to take it back when somebody else is living in it you got to take it back when somebody else thinks it's theirs uh, you know god told joshua that i have given you the land but you still got to fight for it uh, so don't just pray for it fight for it don't just ask for it fight for it don't just uh, beg for it but fight for it god has already given you everything you ask and you ima more than you imagine but i want to tell you something you will possess the land what the god has blessed you god will give you but important is uh, you will have to fight for it uh, you need to know that somebody is uh, sitting on the desk that was your somebody is driving the car that was your somebody is living in the house that was yours and it is remember that you have to in the kingdom of god suffers violence but the violent take it by force you have to fight for it you have to you have to do something about it uh, otherwise you will never be able to do it stop praying but uh, stop praying 
for it and start possessing it in faith stop stop crying about it and start possessing it uh, stop worrying about it stop fretting about it stop asking about it stop wasting about it uh, but you need to start working for it you need to start working hard for it uh, and in the right time you will see the god taking things taking place in in your life uh, remember if uh, there was not a promise for your life uh, you know you wouldn't have been watching this video if there was not a promise for your life uh, covid would have killed you if there was not a promise for your life the flu would have killed you cancer would have killed you that car wreck would have killed you you know but uh, if that promise was not for you when you when you were in the ot when you were admitted in the hospital you would have died uh, remember god is going to redeem everything thing that you have lost uh, and get ready to get it back because remember if you are not dead and you are alive that means uh, that god has a promise for you god has a destiny for you all you have to do is just take it back in faith just fight for it and you know do not allow devil to steal the love joy peace blessings and gifts that the lord has kept for you i believe this message has immensely blessed you let us pray father god we come to thy presence in this wonderful time master Lord, we come to your throne of grace. Thank you for all the good things you have done in our life, Master. Thank you for always being with us, taking care of us, providing all our needs according to your riches and glory. Even though we are not faithful towards you many times, you are always faithful towards us. For that we thank you, Abba. Lord, I pray for everyone who is watching me right now, Lord. And as they are preparing, Lord, fill them with your wisdom and knowledge, strength and courage, Master. So that, Lord, they can reach, they can reach to their promised land, Master. Help them to renew their mind. Help them to renew their mind. Help them to renew their mind. All the egoistic thoughts, mindset be removed. All the negative mindset be removed. All the I am mindset be removed. And Lord, Lord, may your mind, may they renew their mind with your word, Master. And Lord, uh, may they experience uh, Lord, a uh, Lord, a harvest, a great harvest in all the areas of their life. Uh, but you're doing it for that. Uh, thank you in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. 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 I believe this message has blessed you. This message has blessed you. See to it that you share this message with your friends and loved ones. And uh, if you are using an Android phone or an Apple phone, you can download my app. App name is Evans Francis. And if the Lord leads you, become a pillar of fire or a pillar of cloud of our small ministry. The links are there in the description below. You can get, you will get my email address, WhatsApp number, everything in the description and uh, the other links to other things. And uh, so join us. So feel free to share your prayer request. Don't small request. Don't call immediately. Just message me. I will get back to you. If you want to grow more in the Lord, you can join our WhatsApp channel. The link is there in the description. And uh, so you will be able to grow more in the Lord and daily devotionals you will get in that. And also all my posts will be posted there. So I believe today's message has blessed you. If this message has blessed you, see to it that you share this message with all your friends and loved ones once again. And thank you so much for standing with a small ministry. May God bless you. May his face shine upon you. Keep smiling, stay blessed, shalom. So you're ready to take the leap and get married. Congrats! Before you analyze, plan, and stress over your wedding day, don't forget about one important thing, your marriage. Here's the great news. You can prepare for a healthy marriage with a self-guided resource right from home. One study revealed a 31% reduction in divorce in couples who completed premarital counseling or marital therapy. Courtship to Marriage is here to help. Our course and lessons confront the struggles, harsh realities, and everyday routines of married life. This program has been trusted by many couples who are looking to move to a new level of connection. But don't just take our word for it. You can try your first lesson for free. You're also protected by our 30-day money-back guarantee once you enroll with Courtship to Marriage. A long, happy marriage is right around the corner. Try your first lesson today at CourtshipToMarriage.com.